Now, there was a locked door down here, but this is the club. We have the heart. Now, that cord we picked up, well, we can use that to repair the electrical box for the shutters. Now, what we're about to do is completely optional. This is not required at all. Now, this is not the only place where we could potentially use the cord. But this is going to have effects later in the game. And it's also going to have an effect later when we play Claire. The cord will short out soon. But for the time being, barricades are down. There was a green herb back here, wasn't there? I also think there's a red one. No, I was wrong. There's two green. Okay, we used up all our keys. More green herbs. Those are good things. And here's the other room where we could have potentially used the cord. Now, I didn't want to use the cord over here for reasons. And these are reasons you're going to find out shortly. It's locked. And there's a club. So we know at least two doors that need the club key. hear something. I hear something I've not heard for a while. And that's the pitter-patter of zombie doggos. Now, actually, we can probably handle them just fine with the handgun in this hallway. Now, there's another one. I can hear it. I'd rather it come to us, than us go to it. Come on. Are you stuck in a wall? Oh, there's two of you. Dang it! Now, thankfully, the dogs are pretty loud. So, like uh, liquors, we can tell when they're dead. The autopsy room. It's also locked. Alright, so we found three doors that need the club key. 
All right, now where we're going, we don't actually have to go. This is another optional area for Leon. But that's a red herb, and we want red herbs. Now, in case you're curious, there is a dog back there. And there's also a sewer manhole that we could go down that leads us to a safe room. I don't think there's actually anything there for Leon to get in this scenario. Shoot the camera! Actually, yeah, we can, can't we? Nope. If I could pull this off right, we would see a bullet, uh, a bullet hole on the screen. Ah, sorry, guys. And I see a goodie. All right, the police map for basement one. Now, I don't usually look at the map too often. I can sort of remember just where everywhere to go. Reserve power control panel. The power can be routed to the areas with insuffic insufficient power using these five switches. Using all the power may cause a short and cut the power supply. All right, so we want to move those five switches up or down until we get it to equal 80. And if we move it up, you see the number 36? It goes up 36 points. And if we move it down, it goes down 14 points. So I'm pretty sure if it's just up, down, up, down, up. There we go. Now that card reader has power. And there's a green herb. We got room for a green herb. Let me think. No, let me... Let me keep a couple of item slots open. Weapon storage. It's electronically locked. Now that is some place we want to get into. Oh, what was that? Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? For some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? So, yeah, there's Ada Wong. We, uh, we heard about her playing the first game. A guy named John was seeing a girl named Ada. All right, but we're going to help her move this big old truck. And we unlocked another door. 
or uncovered rather. Ada, wait! So she ran off. We're going to go visit the puppies. Yeah. These poor dogs didn't make it. But hey, look. Red herb. I think we're going to leave that red herb alone. The lid is firmly closed. I might be able to open it with the right tool. There's something worthwhile. A control panel to release the lock. It appears to be open. Well, it would have to be open because Ada already went this way. Now there's something useful. The blue herb will heal us of the poison effect which is very possible going to happen shortly. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? And somehow Ada got behind us. You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think the game froze on us. Oh, bugger. I have it right here, officer. All right, there we go. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. And Ada just runs off again. So I screwed up and didn't come here with enough inventory space to grab this. Ben, do you have anything There's else to say? There's a in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right. So, considering the the scare scare we just had there, I'm going to save at the next save point, which is actually just around the corner here. Also gonna switch the shotgun. Now there are some 
bad enemies down here. And you can see one of them. Yeah, there's giant spiders. Now they can poison us. But since they're running across the wall on the ceiling, we might be able to run past them. Not that one, though. Ha! We did it! And look, another blue herb. But more importantly, we're going to drop off some of these items. And we're going to pick up these three plugs. And I'm going to save the game. Alright, so I'm pretty sure at this point, more and more saves will lower our score. But we're not after a high score. We're just having fun. We're going to play around, check stuff out, and just enjoy the experience that is Resident Evil 2. So I grabbed all those plugs because I'm looking ahead. Back here, we have a panel. It looks like a panel to release a lock. There are descriptions for the plugs. King plug, rook plug, bishop plug, and knight plug. Well, we have three of those. All right. and now that we've used all three of them now, we won't have to worry about using them later, which will give us more inventory space when we have to come back. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. What? She just waves her hand. She doesn't care. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. All right, and now we get to control Ada. Now, Ada has her own gun, so a few a few bullets, a first aid spray, but she has a pitcher. Why don't we take a look at it? A pitcher taken fairly recently. Now, that's probably her and her boyfriend. Now, I'm pretty sure Ada has to deal with dogs. But if we're quick, we should be able to get around them. There's a sewer dispo a sewage disposal map. Well, of course we're going to take it. A lever to fill and drain water. Will you move it? No, we're not going to move it. Because this is a puzzle. Got these... Got these crates down here. And Ada is just strong enough to push them. You can probably already see what we want to try to accomplish here. We had a similar puzzle to this in the first Resident Evil game.
And since we filled up the area with water, we can now walk across the other side. Now this this is idiotic planning on whoever designed this rooms this room. Whatever bridge was supposed to be over here is just gone. But we find the precinct key. And this one has a clover on it. But they're calling it a club. And we found at least three doors that need the club key. We're not done here. We could go back and see Leon. But we're going to take this elevator down. Now, someone in the chat just mentioned that they still play Resident Evil 2 on the PS1 and the Nintendo 64. Well, just to let you know, the... N64 version of Resident Evil 2 was the first one I played. In fact, that was the very first Resident Evil I played. I didn't get a PlayStation 1 until, I think, like, 99 or 2000. And that was such a great purchase, because there are just so many darn good games to play. Can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. There you go. She hucked them the key and the shells. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Well, she ran off, but at the very least, we get the key, and we get the shelves. Now, I want to make some room in my inventory. I'm just trying to think ahead what kind of critters we're going to run into. Uh, yes, this is the GameCube version of Resident Evil that we're playing. Silent Hill, uh... So somebody in the chat mentioned Silent Hill being their first survival horror game. They went two nights without sleeping. Uh, I kind of had a similar experience. It wasn't my first survival horror game, but it's probably the one that I love the most. And the reason I didn't sleep for two nights was because I couldn't stop playing. Alright, that one spider did tag us, but we're not poisoned. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna leave those dogs alone. Um, you know, I don't know if I've ever went back and seen how Ben was doing. Hey, bud. He's not talking. Well, yeah, same to you. Oh, that was probably a mistake. I should have held on to my shotgun. Alright, sometimes dogs show up in here, but none right now.
Yeah, I can hear them. There are liquors around. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past them for the time being. We'll come back and play with them in a little bit. Alright, there's one club key. Take more shotgun shells. But there's something really useful. A magnum. The Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seems to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the darts doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night, but I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? Ooh, all that scratching, huh? Four itchy tasty? Thomas was a much better player than I imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only time, about the only thing I imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. Wonder if he's okay. September twelfth. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he wasn't feeling too well. He stopped by to see me. But I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the Walking Dead. Literally looked like the Walking Dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Yeah, and he didn't he didn't do too well. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Now I was just reminded of something by our friends in the chat was that if we just walked nice and slow and carefully the liquors wouldn't hear us now since we have this magnum we should be able to take out the liquors with little problem let's see if that's the case I can hear one of them walking around. Well, there's two of them down here, so we want to be careful. Alright, now I think it was this door. Yep. This room is full of dead bodies. Well, it is the morgue, so that's to be expected. And there is the red key card. Uh-oh. Who would have ever thought a morgue full of zombies? Ah, uh, my, my software does not like this. Too much going on for it to handle.
and we use our red key card right here. Now this room is full of goodies. There we go, some shotgun shells. Some more handgun bullets. But over here in the locker is the real goodies. There's a machine gun and a side pack. Now with the side pack, he could carry more items. Now we can equip one of these items if we wanted. The side pack will give us two extra item slots. The machine gun, well, is a machine gun. Actually, I think it's like, um, some sort of, it looks more like a machine pistol or something. Now, Leon can only take one of those items. He's going to leave the other one for Claire. But if we wanted to, we could actually leave both items behind for Claire. Now, since Leon's going to get all these nice, powered-up weapons anyways, we're going to leave everything behind. You need two spaces for this. So yeah, we're going to let that be. 